Now in this next part of the question then, we've got to solve the inequality k squared minus 5k plus 4 is greater than 0. So how do we solve quadratic inequalities? Well the first thing we need to do is just factorise it. So if we factorise this in the normal way, we're going to have a k here, a k here, and then minus 1 and minus 4. Check that out and you'll get k squared minus 4k minus k, that's minus 5k, and then minus 1 times minus 4 is plus 4. Okay, so it's greater than 0. But don't make the common mistake now of saying k minus 1 is greater than 0 or k minus 4 is greater than 0. That will lead you to the wrong result. What you've got to do is find what we call the critical values. That's where this equals 0. So make sure you say that the critical values, let's just write that in, therefore the critical values are, well, they are where each of these two factors equals 0. And that would be where k minus 1 equals 0, leading to k equals 1. Or the other critical value is when k minus 4 equals 0, which would be k equals 4. Now, what you need to do is just do a sketch of a graph. And what's that graph going to be? Well, I'm going to be sketching the graph of y equals this quadratic inequality. So I'm going to be sketching y equals k squared minus 5k plus 4, which is k minus 1, all multiplied by k minus 4. Now, this axis here, you'll notice I've left it off. Normally it would be x, but in this particular example, it is k. And if we were to sketch this, well, we found out the critical values. These are the values that make the equation equal 0. So from a graphical point of view, this would be where this particular graph crosses the k-axis. So let's mark those points in. That is that k is 1, and we'll put a point here, 4. So... What is this graph going to look like? Well, it's a quadratic. It's a positive k squared, so that's going to be a u shape, and it's going to pass through the 1 and the 4. So let's just try and sketch that in. It doesn't have to be an absolute work of art for a question like this, because all we're interested in now is where this quantity, which is equivalent to this, is greater than 0. This quantity is called y now. So where is y greater than 0? Well, y is greater than 0 on this part of the graph and this part of the graph. It's above the k-axis. So that means that from the graph, and we should just write this in here, that therefore from the graph we can see that y is greater than 0 when x is any number less than 1. I didn't mean x, I meant k, sorry. Okay, so when k is any value less than 1, so when k is less than 1, or when k is more than 4, because the y values are greater than 0. They're above the k-axis, so or k is greater than 4. And that brings us then to the end of this part of the question.